Okay, it's Glenn, and let's still talk about phishing. In this case, we're talking about live streaming, GoPro mobile phishing live stream. I like to do that because I can tether my GoPro. Uh, I like the uh, Hero 8 is what I use, and I connect it to my phone uh, wirelessly, use a mobile hotspot, and I'm able to shoot my live stream directly up to YouTube and uh, before, when I was using just the battery, I only had maybe 35 to maybe 45 minutes of live streaming time. And then I'd either have to switch out the battery uh, or have to stop because I ran out of batteries. Um, but ever since I, I bought the, it's called the 3BR Power Sports right there, 3BR Power Sports, uh, I had to uh, put it a little attachment here that gives you a chance to connect to an external uh, USB uh, power bank or whatnot. And I'm able to, to uh, live stream, oh, I'd say three, four hours in some cases. Doesn't overheat and I'm able to make it. In fact, I think it's the uh, uh, SD card will run out before uh, I've had it, uh, have that happen before. So, yeah. So give the 3BR Power Sport a try uh, if you want to do some mobile live streaming. But this one works for the Hero 8. I think there's also one that they make for the Hero 5 as well, but uh, I tend to use the Hero 8 just because it has more stability. Uh, and then it also has a good microphone that I like. All right, check, check. We're live. We're live. We're live. Okay, we're at Kroger, Kroger Park over here. And we call it Kroger Park because it's near the uh, Kroger store here. It's officially called Bethany Ridge Park here in Allen. And what I've got today is a four weight, for correction, this is a two weight Cabela's CGR fly rod. It's fiberglass. And I've got a certain fly, the thief. This is the one that I tied uh, as part of the fly tying deal that earlier this week, Tuesday with the Dallas Fly Fishers. And I'm gonna give it a try here at a local pond. So wish me luck and let's see how it goes. Uh, this is a mobile fishing live stream. So it captures all the mistakes, no editing. It's all done right in front of you. And I definitely made, made a lot of mistakes and whatnot. In fact, right here, I just put the uh, tippet on wrong or the, the tip of my rod wrong. <laughs> all right. I don't have, I think, but a few other flies, and I don't think I brought an indicator with me. And I know we've been catching bass on beds as well as just out in the open, so I'm gonna give this thief a try. Let's see if I can get a better view of it. I do like the, uh, the wing. I can see that in the water. It gives a nice clear view of the fly as I do some short retrieves on it, so. I like that, and I do have polarized glasses on. Alright, let me just keep bringing it in here. I'm just looking for something to strike. So I just saw something move to my right. Okay, this is a fiberglass rod, and so it's got a slower bend, slower action. So you kind of kind of give it a little weight for it to uh, cast, and it definitely will get out there though use the rod instead of powering it and it's a fun rod it's a three-piece Cabela's CGR using the thief hopefully steal me a fish or two here at Kroger Park Pond not yet all right and like I was saying I, I clearly see the fly in the water with that wing it's got a nice oh shoot Got some uh, junk on it. Got some junk in the trunk here. Go fix that up. Anyhow, the other day I did some fishing over there at Lake Glen using some Z-Man series fly, or uh, correction, Ned rigs. And that was fun, just really windy. Uh, I am using a different setup here, so if the wind kicks up, you may hear a lot of wind noise. I do have it rigged up to reduce it, but not sure how it's gonna work. It's the first time out here trying it. Okay, I thought I saw something move here. All right, let's just pop that baby there, let it sit. 
do some short pulls on a little way. Oh, there's a hit. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Putting a bend in the rod. Oh, that's a nice bass. Interesting. Oh yeah. Let's see if I can get him over this algae. Take advantage of the bend in the rod and oh he's going to the algae. Shoot. I think I can get him up closer. Oh, he's running on me. Ah, oh, he ran on me. He's right in that algae. Well, the thief may have uh, gotten him one. If I can just get it through this algae. Big thing is, is I'm, I'm only using four pound tests, so. Well, that's a nice looking one though. I think I can just kind of work him over the brush or the algae. Again, this is the thief uh, pattern by the Dallas Fly Fishers. I learned it the other day, and uh, it's sort of like a muddler minnow, but uses some kind of shino. Oh, that's a nice size one right there. Oh, let's get him. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Got me a bruiser. All right. First fish of the day on the thief. Excellent. Look at that. So let's just kind of give it an idea how big this is it's on the end of the rod tip coming up to oh shoot let me think I think I got something I can measure it with oh no that's in my fly vest I'm wearing my my GoPro oh no no I do excellent let's, let's give it a shot here all right let's lay it down give me a view of it and he is gonna go, he's gonna go uh, just under 20 inches. Just under 20 inches, not bad. Excellent, that's on that two weight fly rod. So let's get him back in the water and see if we can get him to get bigger. All right, there's a big one. <laughs> yeah, all right, on the thief, okay. Let me go ahead and show you the fly that I used. And again, I'm using four pound test. So, hey, you gotta be careful with four pound test. But luckily, I think the fiberglass rod, it's uh, soft action helps it. And there it is, the thief. Pretty cool, huh?